One of the questions I get asked the most is how much CC have you spent on this game? And we're gonna find that out today. Spoiler alert, it's gonna be in the millions. How? Then the second most asked question is, what did all that CC get you? AKA an account showcase, which I've never done in the history of this game. And then lastly, because I'm a little bit of a well, a little bit of one, we're gonna do a smidge of summons right here in this video. So buckle up, there's a lot going on. So I've not looked yet. How many of these did I get? Yeah, no, I need to clean it out. Shut up. Oh my gosh, I've done so much. It's down here. Display next. Hey y'all, look at how many gifts I have. Oh, where's that? Where's it at? There's the sleeves. <gasps> Guys, do the math. And the last year I've spent 1.4 million CC. What? Now in order to get a semi-accurate number for the total CC I've spent, let's go look back at the only other video I've ever made covering how many of these I've gotten. All right, past me is about to show how many of these I had. Oh gosh, dude. That is, uh, that's 1.15 million right there. So that alone right now, we know we're at 2.5 and that only accounts for like two years of the five. Fine, I guess I'll manually accept them. There we go, we got them. 1400 of them let me get my sleeves too so if we did some math this year 1.4 million that year which was all the way back in 2020 it was about 1.15 million you do some numbers you do a little bit of subtracting i'm coming up to an estimated 6.35 million cc spent over the course of five and a half years on this game now of course there's no way to accurately add it up because i'm sure all of you are like trying to do the math on that just simply because there's so many cells it's free to play calculated into that so much calculated into that that's so much cc but let's see what i can get with what i've got now actually, i actually haven't looked at this yet so we've got oh this is where all the backgrounds are i'm setting the voodoo all one i actually think this might be one of my favorites this looks so good oh wait what was that oh it says that you should subscribe because i'm trying to hit a million subs before the end of the year so now for account showcase first off let's start with just standard sps i don't really think anyone cares about EXs and heroes but I, again, no one has ever seen this. There's my total power level. I do get asked that quite frequently. Uh, and here's what we're looking at. I have missed some free to play stuff. Like I didn't finish these guys out. I wish I would have because they are very cool just to have. And then I also missed some stars on Tapion and I'm still working on Gohan up here. But I've already read seven Frieza, read six on the Gotenks. The Kid Goku summons didn't go great for me. So I read seven Roshi and almost read seven the Aider there. And then as you can see, it was a little, little one-sided here. If you guys don't remember these summons for the Guinea Force, very one-sided. Uh, and I have it in order received. That's just the way I like looking at it because I always like remembering back into when things released like April Fool's Day, Pui Pui here. Like <laughs> an actually pretty good unit for an April Fool's. Also, I need to max this guy out too. He's a really good free to play unit as well. So I don't know why I'm focused on the free to play units. We've got like, look at this. This is crazy, man. These, these random releases like this where they're so good, but now they've not really come back as SPs on like main banners. So I've not been able to really get stars on these guys. So these guys are actually still kind of low. Let's see if we have anything that's not red seven though. That's that is summonable as you can see again still like dude look tn tn is not red seven yet that's actually kind of crazy maybe i should use some boost on him probably not he is a cool unit though he has a really cool countering the rising rush and the animation for that is also really really neat too i i do really like that unit speaking of units i like that were just side banner sps really enjoyed this unit too this is such a cool unit. i'm a huge fan of androids like i don't if you guys don't watch enough of the videos huge fan of the androids i guess we won't dwell too much i've not zenkai every unit i didn't used to always zenkai back in the day when it just was purely you just spent money to get them so there are some random units that I've just never Zenkai because if I didn't think I was going to use them on a team or use their team period, I just was like, well, what's the point of spending 7,000 CC on a Zenkai that I'm not, I'm potentially not even going to run? Now, obviously some of the newer ones I've got done because you can get them mostly free to play and then I might finish them up a little bit with summons if I don't want to wait on the missions to like slow drip the final like 2,000 or something like that. Like right now, Jiren is technically not finished yet because I'm just slow dripping that one, if you will. Anyways, most of these, now that we're this deep, are red seven. If not actually, all of them because again it was it has been a lot of cc over the course of uh like there you go kaba this is an old school one uh if i'm not mistaken and i never i never got him completed matter of fact a lot of that has just been dailies throwing at him here and there but yeah we can go back and i again my account is from beta i've had this account for freaking ever so all these units are red seven because they've been on so many banners and i've summoned for a lot of cc right so yeah actually so here we go so we're sorted by limit break so basically all these units which by the way prize possession thousand day balma you gotta love this this unit is just cool to have right it's just one of those like prize possession units that you want to have obtained anyways as far as summable goes once we're down here these are all basically just free to plays i just haven't finished out and then new new summable units like ginyu 
so there you go kind of uh you know kind of a cool thing to show off the obvious obviously the new sp on this we did a live stream for that if you guys missed that we got the new piccolo jr and the new goku jr stuff like that down here wait where is goku jr oh there he is i was like man where is this unit okay so we're now looking at our legends limited units by order received and i think all the ll units besides this newest jiren should be fully zinkai because well they're legends limited units so uh starting here with beers red seven reds yeah dude all these all these red seven i'm just i can't remember do i have some of the older ones maybe like uh kind of middle older that maybe aren't fully maxed i know that there are some no so it pretty much starts with just this trunks <laughs> what is his art Ooh, uh, I won't lie to you. I don't know if I've ever looked at that. This is a unit where you only saw the summon in a compilation. I didn't actually make it. He's one of the only units I've never made a dedicated summoning video on. I was busy and the timeline just didn't make sense. So I did my summons late for him. Man. Okay. So yeah. So looking at this, we don't have our, our first non red seven unit doesn't happen until that trunks. And then after him is not until Goku. So we've got the revival Goku, somehow red seven, the boo duo, red seven, Goku Frieza, red Ford, orange Piccolo red six the gammas red four on the cell red three on the go dude the goku was such a bad shaft over 100,000 cc was spent just on that goku well over 100,000 cc red one on goku red one on the gogeta revival and then there you go on those two so there are my legends limited units for those of you that care and then finally we have the ultras in order received so the first three of course are free to play and then for some reason we've not gotten another single free to play ultra i feel like just out of the goodwill of their hearts they should give us another free to play one sooner than later so i've been slowly when i remember it going in and, and just doing their daily to get the z power for them unless i am missing something i don't think there's any way to easily get their z power anymore by doing exchange shop i know for the longest time you could use rare metals to boost the z power on these guys but that is long gone i should check and see if it's back let's look at stars on this so we have completely red seven the ultra gogeta I had some pretty crazy summons when he launched two years ago then super saiyan blue kaioken goku is just one i've never really went back to i've always enjoyed using this unit um you know in his initial era he is definitely one where when ultras finally start getting zenkai's which i think we might see an ultra zenkai in this i could see us since he's the app icon i could see us seeing him getting the ultras the first ultra zenkai sometime in the celebration it would not surprise me at all and then ultra super vegito actually did some summons for during the fifth anniversary this year because i just had such few stars on him same thing with broly i i actually threw some summons at him too i love broly's ultra art animation and then we got really lucky on gogeta blue hit was semi okay rose was semi okay and then kid boo uvb i just summoned a lot on and janimba i just got really lucky so yeah ugb and and ultra kid boo i just ended up throwing like a lot of cc ultra kid boo didn't happen until like almost 70,000 cc in which not that that they could be much worse anyways there you go there's my ultras legends limited and normal sparkings and uh what a little over 6 million cc looks like in terms of actual characters now i also spent cc on a little bit of equipment i'll show off my equipment just just at the top you know we'll just we'll just show the the top up here so you have some god Godlies. I, of course, got just a bunch of these. Good to go. Just fully maxed out. Those are kind of whatever. Uh, and then I think... No? We do, I do have the logins. These these were from logging in back in the day, right? Weren't these just like straight up you got these for just logging in back in the day? They're just like Z pluses immediately. And then now they've converted into being godly equips. They were, yeah, like this. I'm almost positive these were for just literally the movie celebration. They gave out equipment. I don't know if they've really ever done that ever again. I don't know if they have. Dude, The these two dropping back to back, by the way, were such a pain. You can see that like this one i've never i've never gotten his proper final effect because it just it just hasn't popped it ta they take so many rolls and it's so obnoxious and so annoying so this has definitely been some cc has been thrown into equipment but that's it for as far as like what i've gotten godly but for those of you that are always curious about my equipment there you go now because of the well i am we're gonna do two rounds of summons i <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that uh i don't know i've just always been asked to do an account showcase and i've never just taken the time to do it because i feel like they can be not necessarily boring i mean i'm always interested to see like just what all it's been but i don't know just a different vibe of a video but here we are hope you guys enjoyed it and now hopefully i can get me a beast gohan because that's what you know what that's what i'm trying to get he's crazy i actually like both of them i think the thing for me right now in wanting to run the tag duo is that i want to run golden frieza the golden frieza is actually so good he's so crazy he can turn the tide of battle so fast like i am obviously not one to power please 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 trunks please now i'm not one to power scale these these characters too much you know but i will say i do feel like that that frieza it might be the best one percent sp in the game 
almost without question. I mean, he probably could he, he gonna protect everyone. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, dude. Red three beast. Dude, he's about to be so disgusting. Let's go. Listen, I hope you like the video just for the account showcase. But I also hope you like the video for that friggin' beast pull. Insane. No, Vegeta. We need some we need some new animations so bad. Um But anyways, there you go. For those of you that have been asking for the longest time, you now can see my account. You can see what all everything looks like. Oh yeah, it's literally full EX, so it's you, you see that pull through, you know you're definitely... Ooh, do that Topo. That Topo Zenkai, presumably Wednesday, is going to be crazy. <laughs> that, Topo, that Topo Zenkai is going to be kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, I just, I've honestly just enjoyed running that team just to use that Frieza. That Frieza is just a ton of fun. Like, he's just a blast to use. Uh, so is the Gotenks, though. Like, I definitely am happy they gave us that Gotenks. When he popped up in the reveals and stuff, I was like, what? where are they going with this? And I won't lie to y'all, and you can tell, you can tell when I'm when I'm reacting. I didn't really think they would let Ultra go. Like my Ultra, I'm still so tied up on wanting to see Ultra Beast go on. I didn't think they would let Ultimate go on Transform. I don't know why I didn't think that. I guess because we were already getting what I think is prop a very could have been an easily standalone LFSP, right? With the tag duo from TOP, straight up easily could be their own standalone you know legends fest starter but then to give superhero more spotlight it could have just been a standard ultimate gohan and i think we've all been fine with that like obviously i'm glad he transforms into beast but i think we'd all been totally fine if it had just been ultimate gohan and he just had all the animations that he already has like i don't know what his lf would have been but like i I don't I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm so wrong with that. Actually, they could have easily they could have cooked, man. He did he did a lot of stuff in uh as Ultimate and he spent the most time fighting Gamma One in Ultimate, right? I really need to rewatch that movie. I say right. I ha I need a I need a re I need to rewatch it. I've seen it three times. Diddy and I watched it when he came out uh for eighth anniversary, so it was nearly a year ago. Uh I rewatched it when I first got it in from Japan because I imported it from Japan. And then I watched portions of it when it launched digitally finally over in the States. Which, by the way, when you buy it from Japan, it has no subtitles. So I just watched it not having them. So I, I, I not having, no, ha having no subs, I'll switch, I'll switch. Having no subs, I, I yeah, I, I opted for, uh, I opted for just watching the last like 45, 50 minutes or so. Like, kind of sort of once it starts uh, unraveling close to getting to the Red Ribbon base, that's where I started tuning in. Because watching the beginning where you can't understand what they're saying doesn't really hit, you know? Like, I don't, I'm don't, i not really interested in, in, in all the backstory and not understanding a single bit of it. So I watched the intro animation, which is still so crazy how good and, like, beautiful that intro animation is and not in 3D. So... Anyways, watch the intro animation and then went to the the fighting and the stuff where I have to worry too much about what they're saying, right? So anyways, I need to sit down and just re-watch it in its entirety in English. <laughs> like from start to finish now that the Blu-ray is officially out in uh in the States over well it's been out for a while, but I've I was I've just been anticipating this collector's edition of of the Blu-ray in the States. Because the collector's edition in Japan has been out for literally forever. It took forever to get it over here. It's crazy. And it's way the Japan one is way better. Like it's it's not even not even a, a comparison period. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Uh I just really I don't know. In the middle of, of all the hype and the excitement, I just doing dual lefts again did not anticipate them to have beast be transforming there. That's all. That's really all I'm trying to say. I know that might seem stupid now in retrospect and hindsight. You know, hindsight's 2020. But when I was in the middle of it all, I really did just think it was just an ultimate Gohan. Straight up. I was like, ultimate Gohan, cool. <laughs> like, love that. And then, nope. Transforming. Beast Gohan. We're doing dual LFs. Please, brother, 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 bro. Blues? But it was Blues, guys, so it could still be them. I really want them. 
I really want that. I'm not trying to well too hard. I got, listen, I got one more duel, one more duel. And the reason why I'm doing these in this video is because I thought I was going to have another duel. Like it's Legends Fest and duels are fun. I heard Vegeta, bro, and I really thought, I really thought. I, you guys, you guys saw, I, I read seven of them from this banner. I did quite a few summons with that because I did a solo summon whenever the Boo Duo came out. I did a Boo Duo duel with Diddy, and then I did a Boo Duo duel with Rai. But uh, yeah, so right now, two two solo vids, a duel with Diddy, this video, and then I'm planning another duel with someone else. And then I had another duel I thought was happening with someone else, but that one fell through. So I'm just doing these summons, and then I'm out. Any more Chrono Crystal spent until part two will just be for potential securing equipment upgrades. I am not over using some CC to secure equipment upgrades. I want I want whole job because like if I roll and especially now they've made that godly equip thing. If I if I get a roll, that's pretty good. And I'm like, if I just secure upgrade this like twice, it'll be like where I want it to be. I'm like, pfft, let's just secure upgrade then continually to roll, 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 roll the, uh, the just possible chance. You know what I mean? So uh, that one more final free one. Here we go. Is is besides a duel? Is this my last solo? Probably not. But you never know. You never know. We got lots of stuff going on this week. Lots of stuff going on. So wait, dude, I would love to lose. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, let's lose. Lose, 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 lose. Vegeta, 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 Vegeta. I was supposed to lose there, and Vegeta and Blue Vegeta was supposed to show up. And I was supposed to get a Legends Limited character right here. So it's gonna be great, and you all you all gonna love it. And now, it's just Kefla. I lose. Why am I attacking Kefla like that? You'll die by my hand. <sighs> all right, Bardock. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and click on another one right here that I know you guys are going to enjoy and like. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.